in my original playthrough of that, I think I had, I think I bought a white stallion actually, and I hadn't realized that at the time because I think it was the Bulgarian, Hungarian horseback something or other. Where the hell is this guy? He's right there. And uh, I accidentally gave it to him because I had him hitched up to that post when I talked to him. But then I called him back after he stole it, and he bucked him off and came to me. I was like, oh, that a boy. <laughs> so I kind of wish that might have been something I could have shown off, but that's all right. Anyways, uh, we're still going to keep on going. I've been playing for kind of a, a while, more than I should be, but I don't mind. The Luisa mission should probably be decent, and the Reyes one, this is where the plot actually starts getting very interesting. It's not just a series of taking over a couple of encampments, and there are so many snakes out here. Jesus. But, um, yeah, it's, it's fun, and uh, I'm really excited to see where the story takes us, because it is so good. It's basically a true western. I don't know. It's good. But it, it still has, like, that hint of modernism in it, obviously, with a lot of the things that goes on here, but still, it's good and I like it a lot. Also, I'm not sure why we're writing to Luisa, I just would really not want to pass up this really beautiful landscape. God. And for those of you watching Shadow of the Colossus, or have seen it at some point, you guys know I'm a sucker for that. If it rained in that game, holy smokes, that'd be amazing. Um... So, let's just, oh my god, Luisa is much farther away. Maybe we'll get in a couple of misadventures on our on our path there. It's been a while since we've just, just straight up gone places on horseback and just traveled. I mean, I, I, if it didn't look like this outside right now, I probably would not be dealing with this. So, <laughs> let's get stuff. Um, my name is Allison Cruz, and welcome to what I'm assuming is... Probably episode mid-60s of some sort. It's kind of, I don't know, it's been a long series of videos. But we're actually kind of starting to close in a little bit, and it's kind of sad. I mean, I know all good things must come to an end, but this is easily one of the longer projects I've had to do so far. Granted, it is a Rockstar game, and they don't usually have the shortest of games or plots, but... Oh, man... I'm so glad I finally decided to sit down and do this. I've been saying it for so long, just like... Even in Lenoir, I think a couple of times, I was like... Oh man, this is kind of like Red Dead. Because I guess, yeah, that came out about a year after this did. So... Yeah, it was fun. Fun business. Lenoir was really fun too. <laughs> like, it was kind of niche -y. Like Some of the parts were weird, but I still... I enjoyed it to a degree that was probably unparalleled to most people. So I think a lot of people will say that they aren't a huge fan of that game, but I liked it a lot. It was it was pretty cool. I'm a I'm a fan of good old fashioned detective slash mafia stories, so I was content with that. Although the plot ended in a really shitty way and some of the facial recognition was kind of bizarre at times, but yeah, I liked it. Anyways, we should almost be here to the desecrated remains of Luisa's home and uh, Camp Merada. If there's, is there a fire still smoldering in there? Jesus, it's been like weeks since we left this place, right? Dang it. Hopefully her parents weren't still in there. <laughs> Good thing the sister got out when she did. Alright, let's go Ooh, auto jump over small white picket fence and uh, speak to Luisa. And see what she's got for us, shall we? <sighs> God damn it. Hey, senor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mueve. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. 
I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way! Wait, what? No pat on the shoulder? Damn it. I guess, once again, we'll ride shotgun. Uh... I guess that's one positive outlook you can have on such a dreaded thing, much like the passing of rain, unfortunately. Why do you doubt our revolution so much, Mr. Marston? I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. And I'm chasing oh. they did too. That if we spilled enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. 
We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Interesting. <sighs> well, I hope we don't have to go much further, but I think I know exactly where we're headed. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. Oh, That's a little depressing. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good. Because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. Okay. Also, I just sneezed, so now my nose sucks. Whoops. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Okay, so in between here and the bridge, we need to set up, I think, how many is it? Four or five explosives? Maybe. Okay, so we'll press Y right here. And then we'll just keep going every so often because I think this is the one with the pretty long convoy, so length of the rig dynamite is limited. Can't be too far. And then maybe one way up here. How many did I need? Four or five? It never really told me, but... Oh, there we go. Set the last one here. So this should go. probably be good. Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill. Top of the hill, you say? Cool. Well, thanks for letting me... She got there really fast. What in... Okay, well... <laughs> Alright then. Luisa, I have set up the dynamite. Now all you literally have to do is press the button, and you're good. <laughs> oh... Jesus. Todos a sus posiciones. They are coming. Get ready, John. Well, we got here right at the nick of time. Jesus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Abraham is counting on us. We cannot disappoint him. All right. So we can ready the detonator. There it is. Get ready. Okay, so our most active dynamite is up here. So once it gets to this point, the very first person as they pass over it, that's probably when we should do it. These other ones kind of seem like they're a little bit close, but we'll probably be fine. Okay. Oh, there they come. Hopefully they can't see us, and the camera's really weird here. I can't really adjust it. Yeah, they're going very slow. Well, I guess we could also press B. There we go. Alright, let's go to the far right, and we'll wait. Yeah, they are very spread out. Hopefully they don't get too far, because I think the game won't get angry at us. I think I had planned them beyond the bridge the first time I played it, so... Here we go. Uh, uh, thanks! That... Oh, Jesus. 